Well, the, the biggest thing I've seen this year is very much in previous years, it was there's a lot of emphasis on maybe AI replacing the radiologist and you know, AI is so great that maybe we don't need the doctors anymore. But it's a, it's kind of a subtle difference this year, I think. It's very much more, you know, how can AI help the doctors? And uh, I mean, the two biggest areas I've seen is one is how can you, you know, how can it help you make a diagnosis with computer aided diagnoses? And that's been around a while, but there's that's more mature now. And you see a lot more of that. And how can it help, you know, workflow, presentation of the images, can can uh, you know cloud-based based deep learning help you you know analyze the images? That's one thing. But the other thing, which is kind of new this year, is that they're using the AI to actually make the images look different, to actually improve the images. That's a new thing that I haven't seen in previous years. Well, certainly from the image point of view, I've seen uh, with the ACE technology which is the, the deep learning for CT and, and now MR as well. It's using you know, the clever computing to make, make the images much better, make the acquisition times, I mean, CT, it makes the doses lower and the images better. And in MR, it makes the, it's not a radiation issue, but it makes the acquisition times much better, much, much faster. And it's, uh, it's, it's one of the first things I think I've seen in MR where it really, it really makes a difference because MR is, you know, the progress of MR has been slower than CT, but this is a, seems to be a step change. Thank you.